guys, Jondra here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, welcome to part two uh, of uh, my video featuring my entire Trollbees collection. Now, if I am not mistaken, I'm pretty sure we ended the video, I think, featuring this last bracelet, I think. So, yeah, what I was saying last time is that this is my bracelet that uh, I call, just call it a green bracelet, but I like to... Um, what is it? What am I trying to say? This reminds me of like nature and like meadows and fresh cut grass and flowers and forests. So pretty much anything green. Um, so I'm just going to quick little zoom there. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go ahead and review my last video. So this is completed. Um, that means I don't do any more changes to it. That's it. I'm wondering now if it's too bright in here. <laughs> I got two lights shining on me plus sunlight, so I hope it's not too bright. Uh, I think last video was a little too dark, so I, I just can't have a, I can never find a happy medium, apparently. <laughs> so now I'm wondering if I should discuss my works in progress or continue with my finished bracelets. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and just talk about my bracelets that are um, a work in progress, shall we? So this one is what I like to call my ocean bracelet. Um, it doesn't necessarily have any like obviously oceany charms on it. It's just more reflective of like maybe um, the color of water, you know, the color of the ocean for the most part, um, or shades therein of what the ocean can provide. And I've seen so many photographs of oceans that look pale blue to like dark dark blue to like this turquoise color to teal so um lately i don't know why i've been on this really uh cool tone kick where i'm loving all the greens teals and blues um so let's go ahead and get started with this one and i think it's a work in progress it might be done but i don't know it really is honestly missing uh two more teal or turquoise, not teal, turquoise or aqua colored uh, beads, but Troll Beads hasn't made any that I like yet, so I pretty much have all the ones that I like here, and I actually haven't even had repeats with these right here, um, and this one's kind of off a little bit by the, 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 the blue, but it's close enough, I think, so I'm fine with it, but yeah, I think if I were to get maybe two more aqua colored ones, then I'd be done. Although, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe some of these silver ones may be being replaced because I just saw a preview of the Trobeat Summer, which is all about the ocean, all about seashells. <sighs> so, yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, <laughs> I just added these two beads to it, too, at the end. So, now I don't know. I don't know if I'll replace, maybe I'll replace this one. Maybe, I don't know, I kind of like it. Kind of reminds me of like, a, like an ocean swirl, see? Not an ocean swirl, like a wave, how it swirls, that's what I mean to say. This one is actually a feather bead, but it, again, it kind of reminds me of like, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, this is a feather, I think it's a freedom feather bead, but it, to me, it doesn't kind of look... I can see the feathers, but to me, it almost looks like ocean waves, doesn't it? That's what I see. So let me go ahead and just go in order. <laughs> so I'm just jumping around all day. So this lock, I believe, is the, called a water lock. Which I think is very fitting. Right? This is the waves bead. Prism. Uh, I don't remember what this is called. But it has movements. Let's see how it moves. And I believe it was a people's bead, I think. And I'm not so sure. Like I said, my memory is never what I want it to be. Um, then we have the sea glow, which glows in the dark. Turquoise trace bead? I don't know. Diamond bead. Okay, what are you doing back there? Okay, my dog's doing something. Uh, I don't remember what this is called. But again, it reminds me of like little ocean waves or currents. 
think this is called white cap. Hi. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Can you can appear on camera again? <laughs> <coughs> what was I doing? Uh, what else? I don't remember the names, guys. It's just too many to remember. Of course, this is the cell bead cells that I just got. I don't know if you guys can hear her walking around. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, like I said, Crowbeads kind of threw a monkey wrench in my design here because their new summer stuff is all about seashells and that's, well, that would be perfect for this bracelet. But I don't know if I want to replace any of the beads I already have here. I mean, if I were to replace them, it probably would be this one. Maybe this one. Oh, jeez. Getting a phone call, guys. Sorry about that guys, I got a quick phone call and I had to take care of that, but now I'm back. So I forgot what or I was talking about here. My train of thought is gone. <laughs> Obviously I saw my dog kind of walk by here and she sat here and I took her and told her to go away. <laughs> so I apologize. Um, okay, so yeah, I might remove this one. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Um, to replace them with future seashells, but we, we shall see. I don't know. Maybe I could just redesign the whole entire thing and make it more silver because I want this to be more glass. So maybe I'll just incorporate more silver into it. Um, yeah, we shall see. Because uh, I don't have much space left. See, that doesn't really allow for a lot of charms. I'd say maybe three or four, maybe four more charms. Maybe. <laughs> but this is, yeah, this is my ocean bracelet. And what else do I have in the works? Uh, this is my newest one and that I kind of just threw away together. Uh, I don't know what, what I'm doing with it yet. I just knew that these were kind of um, my mini sets for pinks and I just didn't know what to do with them. Uh, I was going to get rid of this one and this one because they were just rolling around my bracelet box, not doing anything. I wasn't wearing them. Uh, so I was gonna maybe sell them, but I decided to I decided to have Instagram help me out, and I kind of designed this brace, and I asked people what they thought, and everyone seemed to like the design, so I might just keep it. I tried wearing this one as a pendant, because that's what it's supposed to be, it's a pendant. It didn't look too bad, didn't love it though. Uh, this is an angel, as you guys can probably see from the back. So she's designed very nicely, she's very pretty. I love angels, obviously. However, she is meant to be a pendant, so I put her on my pendant and on my neck, and it looks like this on my neck. So it looks like I'm wearing a chick on my neck. <laughs> so that, that was kind of weird. Oh, there you go. I thought um, it looked kind of odd to just have some lady hanging off my neck, so I was like, mm, no. So again, like I said, I kind of threw it on a bracelet and everyone seemed to like it. So I'm gonna keep it for now. And so I can get more pinks. Um, I don't even know if this really matches. I've always wanted to get another Delights. I forgot what it's called. Something Delights. I, I, I forgot what it's called, yeah. Um, but I wanted to get uh, another one to pair on this side, but I, I remember being at the store and wanting something else instead, so I got that instead. <laughs> Hopefully I still have some of these in stock. I, I hope, but um, yeah, this is also work uh, part uh, works uh, work in progress. 
Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this later on. Maybe what I should do is, what's wrong with you? What are you doing? Okay. Uh, maybe I should add some of my, what is it? Like orphan beads, like these, these two beads right here. Not doing anything. So maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what pattern I have going on with this or what. I just, it's just here. So I think this would look nice on a bangle as well, but I just have it on this chain for now. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna make this a pink bracelet. Obviously, I just don't know what direction this is going. Which is kind of okay. I'm okay with that. You know, kind of you just sometimes you just kind of wing it, just kind of go with the flow. <sighs> so there's whoa, what am I doing here? There's that. Um. Coming close to the end of the works in progresses. This one, of course, was featured in October when I, un not unboxed it, but when I presented to you when I, uh, did I unbox it? I don't remember. This one, I'm trying to remember and think how many beads I have left for it to be done with. Because I think I have some placeholders in the meantime. Let me think. Let me try to zoom out here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so part of me as I talk to myself, this is a focal bead. La la, star star, da da da. Okay, so I think this one here, yeah, I remember now, I think. This bead is called the Nomad Bead, I think. <laughs> and it's a placeholder until I can get the Bead of Power. The Bead of Power? Is that what it's called? It's a star shaped bead. That's all I know, with a lapis which is obviously dark blue, which is what this bracelet is all about. So this is my night sky bracelet. Um, once upon a time, it was supposed to be my another ocean bracelet, like a darker ocean bracelet, but I ended up going for the um, night sky. And if this one is like different shades of blue from the ocean, well, this is different shades of blue in the sky. Now I'm gonna talk about sunsets or sunrises, that's a whole other deal. <laughs> um, yeah, and I kind of have a kind of have another bracelet for that. Not really, but um, yeah, this is my night sky bracelet. So we have obviously all things stars. So I have my star locket, star locket, the star lock. Then the bee that came with the wishful sky bracelet, way of dreams, uh, nomad, which is my placeholder for when I get the the other lapis um, bead, star bead. It's called the eye. More lapis. I don't remember what this is called. It has to do with stars, though. <laughs> and I don't remember what this is called either. I think it's called. Is this the purity bead? I don't remember. Of course, my wishful sky monos, which I love. So pretty. A fireworks bead. I don't remember what this is called. I forgot what this is called either. And this one too. Midnight bloom. Midnight flower. I don't remember. This is supposed to be a beach beach bead, but I thought the blues kind of complemented um, the rest of the blues, so I stuck it on here. I thought it looked really nice with this bead next to it. Uh, I don't remember what this is called either. Another wave speed, and then the other little end cap from the second bracelet that I bought. So again, this is a work in progress. I said I'm pretty sure I'm only one beat away from being done. Uh, honestly, yeah, this one here, and then if I can get another dark blue bead here and here, I then it'd be done. But again, I, I'm waiting for trophies to make more blue beads that I like. <laughs> so there is that. What else? Ah. And this is kind of like my last um, project that I'm working on. This one is still kind of really, it's a, it's really in progress. I, I don't have any, what is it? What am I trying to say? I don't really have any clear um, pattern or anything to do. I don't know what to do with this pretty much. I just have a whole lot of beads that look pretty together, <laughs> but I really don't have a clear focus like what am I trying to say 
design, I guess. I don't have a, a design for this in mind at all. I think I've kind of lost some traction here, momentum. I, I don't know what to do with this. Um, I usually like to design my bracelets based on color with troll beads and uh, patterns. Um, as an example, this one is glass, silver, glass, silver, glass, silver. This one, zoom out, whoa, zoom out, not zoom in. This one, what is it? Um, it's supposed to be a series of three glass and then one silver. So this is unfinished. We have silver, three glass beads, silver, three glass beads, silver, three glass beads. So like I said, I've kind of lost some momentum. I don't know, I'm, I don't know what pattern to use. Um, I guess I can repeat patterns. I haven't done so yet, I think, from a, that I know of. This is two beads, this is three, this is two, this is one. Um, the rest have just different types of patterns. Also, I guess I can repeat myself. Um, I was kind of like priding myself at, as to finding different patterns, but I think I'm just kind of running out of, running out of ideas a little bit. Plus, oh, let me zoom out again. I'm not quite sure if I like this bead and this bead with these beads. I don't know if they go because of the blue. But then these have blue too, so I, I don't know. I'm not sure what, again, like I said, I don't really have a clear direction of, as to what I'm doing with this bracelet. And it looks like the battery on my camera is starting to die, so I should really kind of rush and hurry. So yeah, this is just, works again, a work in progress. I don't know what to do with myself with this. Um, these two beads are still actually have been lent to me by a good, really good friend of mine. Um, I still haven't decided if I want to keep them. Um, I really just need to take this bracelet out in the sunlight and just actually take a close look and say, do I want these in, or not? I really do like them though. The more I see them on uh, with the rest of the beads, I think they kind of do go. Like I said, maybe these right here with the dark blue and these with dark blue kind of mess the flow I got going. And if that's the case, I might just take them off and do a whole other bracelet with them. I, or I don't know, maybe make them a mini set, maybe make them orphan beads. I, I don't know yet. But um, when I posted this set before on Instagram, a lot of people really liked it. So I maybe just keep it this way. I tend to be very matchy-matchy, so I, again, I need to get out of that mindset and just be more go with the flow, you know? Here's my emerald that I couldn't find last week, remember? <laughs> and I was like, where's my emerald? So, I don't know. And if you look at it, this is more of a moss green than a teal. I, I don't know. I don't know, but like, I don't know. I like it. The more I see it, the more I like it. I don't know. It doesn't have to go, you know? All that matters is that I like it. I do. I'll just do a quick, quick, quick close-up again of each bead, and then I will move on. Because like I said, my battery is running out, and I'm just like, seriously? I just charged you. Maybe I should buy another battery and have a backup. <laughs> so there's that. Moving on, moving on, moving on to actual completed bracelets. This is my white bracelet, which as you can see has a lot more silvers and um, glass. These are one of, this is not the first bracelet, but one of the earliest bracelets that I started designing. Um, Cause I started incorporating a lot of silver, kind of like what my Pandora has. And then, seriously. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I started to incorporate more uh, beads. So this is a pattern of glass, one, two, three, B, silver. Glass, one, two, glass, one. So it's one, two, and three. And again, it's one, two, and three. And then the glass are separating. So, again, quick close up of this one. Blizzard bead, yeah. Moroccan cushion, chat bead, I forget what it's called. Cylinder, something, cylinder. Water, angel feathers, uh, diamond, bubbles, I think, yarn, stars, quartz, uh, victory, I think, origami, 
Autumn Splendor, I think, and I don't know what this is called. Sirocco? Yeah. Not surprised I remember these. And of course, I don't know what this is called. Lock. Quick little review again. Now, if you guys remember my video on um, discounted troll baits and that whole fiasco, <laughs> this is what started that beat, that whole thing. Kind of has this face, and happy face, and sad face, and the winky face, and the winky face was missing. It was just a, another repeat of one of these other faces, so that's why I knew it was a fake. It's too bad I retired that bead. It's a really cute bead. Next, we have my Mexico bracelet. Now, remember I told you in the last video that I don't quite like to mix brands? Well, I cheat with this one, too. And I'll start it with the lock. <laughs> the lock and this little Aztec. No, was it this one? Oh, no, not this one. It was... Actually, no, this one, yes. This bead and this bead were kind of the whole reason I started Troll Beads, you guys. <laughs> yeah, this lock, this little tower, and this bead started everything. And this, I was only had, supposed to have this one bracelet and in... What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> About nine braces later. <laughs> so let's see. I hope my fa uh, camera doesn't die, and if it does, then I'm gonna have to edit this differently. We'll just keep going until it dies. <laughs> so this is a Mexico lock. This is a Novo bead. Zoom in on this so you can see it. It's called a Novo bead. It's another brand. Um, I like it because they have. They pretty much, if I can't find a bead in Pandora Trobies, I go to Novo or pretty much anything else. Pretty much eBay or Google or Amazon will do. Um, it's called Corn on the Cob. So I here represents the maze. This is a Sugar Skull, which is a Bella Fascini, I think it's called. It's not Trobies, it's not Pandora. Um, I know Trobies has a Sugar Skull that came out several years after I got this bead, but I like mine better. I think it's more typical of these Jurgo Skulls rather, rather than um, Trollbeast's version of it, so I kept this instead. The Red Prism, the Eagle, and of course, um, this is an off brand. I don't, it's just silver, but it's not necessarily a brand. I just got it off of eBay, I think. I don't, it doesn't mean, yeah, it's not an actual brand, it's just a random European style term. This is the Tower from Trollbeast's. This is, I think, also Nova Beans. It has little sombreros, which I thought was really cute. The feather, the soccer ball, of course, very big in Mexico. The other zucchini blossom, or flower, that I'm using as my focal points. The cactus, which is also um, troll beads, very fitting. The Aztec bead, the snake bead, kind of cute. The feather another prism and then this is the Mayan style pyramid so you can still silver and again this is an off brand it's not like a Novo bead or anything it's just a, a, a pyramid that I got off of Amazon so yeah, so very cute so again this is not it's mixed it's not 100% troll beads and I'm okay with that because I wanted a bracelet that signified what Mexico means to me, and I got it. And uh, it's actually still missing. I just realized that it's actually missing one more bead here, and two beads here. And I forgot what they were gonna be. I think I was gonna get a little chili pod, like an actual little chili, which is also a bead on this end. And I think I was gonna get the Dahlia flower on this one. And maybe a guitar on this side. I think that then I was gonna be done. But I completely forgot. I thought this was completed and it's not. I'm still missing three beads. So it's actually a work in progress. <laughs> um, I got my dichroic glass bracelets B. Uh, yeah, I got dichroic glass B bracelet. I think this is my first bracelet ever to be completed. It's probably this one too. And you could tell because I have a lot of the silvers on them. That's how you know that I started off with um, 
this one and this one and the where, 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 oh that's the white one because it has a lot of silvers on them I went crazy with the silvers first before I started collecting glass um, because Pandora kind of trained me that way to just look for silver over glass when I started realizing that troll bead glass is beautiful so that's kind of how you can tell <laughs> and this is just the uh, same pattern three silvers die quick three silvers die quick three die quick three die quick three but then there's a dark cry glass bead here, one here, and one at the end. So that's the pattern on this one. Let me zoom in on this one too, again. Still vicarious living on the very last bit of battery life here. <laughs> I'm kind of sad about this bead because I realize it's kind of crooked. I think it's just the way it's been worn, but I just feel like it's somehow... It's kind of bent. I'm not sure what I did to it, but it's kind of sad. See, it just right here, it just feels like it's not very uh, balanced. It's some, see, right there, it kind of looks like it's crooked. I'm not sure what I did to it, but oh well. This is called Three Siblings, Diamond, Dichroic Ice, uh, initial letter D. I still have it backwards then. <laughs> I forgot what this is called. A. Another glass. This was um, part of the Stories of You silver bead that came with the Aurora bead, which I will showcase in a minute. King and Queen, I don't remember what this is called. An R, frames. <sighs> Autumn leaves, maybe, I guess. A heart. Hallelujah bead, which actually was a present for my husband. Very sweet. And then I think it's called Three Flowers and Dudes. I posted this a long time ago and I haven't got it fixed yet. Yeah, see how I lost a bead. <laughs> I even had a kind of um, a fellow blogger offer to help me with fixes and I still haven't done it because I am horrible. <laughs> and I had another fellow blogger tell me maybe you should just like contact Trollby and let them know that this happened. And they could maybe send you like a little fix-it kit. I still haven't done that because I'm so freaking lazy and I forget and I procrastinate. I am the queen of procrastination, guys. I, I suck. <laughs> and I thought maybe buying a new one, but this one's expensive. So ugh, I might just live with it or just, like I said, call, contact Trobies. Maybe they can help me out. What do you guys think? I don't know. It makes me sad. <laughs> I don't even worry that much anymore because it makes me sad to see that beat die. <laughs> All right, moving right along because we gotta get through this. This, I don't even have a name for it. I think call, I just called this my Aurora bracelet because of the focal beads, which are these right here. Now these two are the I forgot they're called faceted Aurora, Auroras. I think they those were just um, the names given by collectors. I don't think Trobius gave them that name. I'm not even sure, but. These two came with a bracelet and a lock, which I've sold off because I didn't like it. And that little heart bead I just showed you guys. So, oh, it's actually on this one. So I got two. <laughs> so I have to say, why doesn't Trobies make more locks like this? Can someone answer that for me, please? All the locks are like this, this shape, which is fine. I like those locks. There's just one piece, right? I tend to think that maybe Trobies forgot that they actually have something like this that detached, not detached, but that moves. They only made two. They only made this one, the big flower lock and the big fish lock, and that's it. I'm like, you guys can make more. <laughs> Still waiting. Uh, I don't remember the name of these beads, so we're just gonna go. I think this was a whole oh, tropical paradise. I forgot what it's called. I bought this very close to a Hawaii vacation, so that's why that symbolizes that. Piano. More Aurora beads. I don't remember what they're called. That's not an Aurora bead. I just I don't remember what it's called. I really don't. The little high heel. The heart. And then my little, my beautiful focal Aurora beads. And the sea anemone. Is it sea anemone or flora, flower anemone? Now I don't remember. I know it has the word anemone in it. <laughs> Another heart. A little teacup matching one. I can't believe I forgot the name of this. 
I can't believe it. Whatever. <laughs> oh, this one's really cute. This was a big gift for my husband. This was a surprise gift. He just bought it for me, and I was like, I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> And the I love you. And then like a little end cap. The end. This is one of my favorite, all time favorite Troll Beats bracelet, I can say. I just love the colors. Um, this bracelet reminds me a lot of sunrises and sunsets because of the colors. You know, it has all the colors of the sunset orange, purple, pinks, blue. At least that's what I see when I see these beads. Just so pretty. But yeah, that's why they call they were called the War beads because you know, Dawn. So lovely. But yeah, these are my all-time favorite ones. So pretty. <sighs> but like I said, I have a lot of favorites. And um, that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm only um, just have these left to showcase which are my bangles and stoppers. Um, I have four, no, six. And every time I, I mean to buy some copper ones, I just never get around to it. But I got these last year off of a discount Trollbaits closing store. So I got these two and this one too. So this is the original. Which I also got on sale, I think. <laughs> And I have, of course, my burst, not my burst, my birth, oh gosh, what is it? These represent um, the birth months of my family members, immediate family, with the exception of the rose, because I just like the rose. <laughs> I just think it's a nice focal point, but everything else symbolizes, symbolizes a family member who was born in the month of, so... No, actually, this is done because I've been wearing this lately. It's so lovely. I think it's getting a little tarnished, which makes me sad. And then, of course, the copper ones, which um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but are is also pretty tarnished because I haven't worn them. <laughs> I'm actually surprised it's not worse than they should be. It should be well, a lot worse than this. Why aren't you focusing? Okay, seriously? Is it because your battery's dying? Is that why it won't focus? And I think there's more impulse buys too because they were 70% off and I couldn't like pass that up. <sighs> but I feel so guilty because like I said, I, I have all this stuff and I don't wear them. I used to wear my bracelets every day, guys. I would fluctuate between Pandora and troll beads and I go back and forth and back and forth and now lately for some reason 2018 I don't wear a lot of my stuff I don't photograph as much as I used to because I am an awful person who just doesn't have time <laughs> but yeah this is it this is my entire troll beads collection in its entirety so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Subscribe if you like my content. Content? Con that's the contact. <laughs> if you like my content, hit that little bell so you know when there is a new video up, you'll be notified. Um, I can't even fit all this crap in the video uh, frame because it's so much. It's ridiculous. All right, well, that's it. It's a whole hodgepodge mess of everything. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I I don't know what's next. I can't think right now. Um, I'm still working on that eBay video, guys. I know I've been lazy about that one. It's been taking me a lot longer because it's a little more work heavy. <laughs> a, little more, a little more work than just filming stuff, I have to say. But I am working on it. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I think, let's see... Do I have anything else lined up? I don't remember. We shall see. So yes, once again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.
Thank you.